still nice with to us. See you. Yeah, nice to see you. Listen, the LP, you know, obviously, let's talk about that for a minute. You know, right. it's, well, obviously, we know it's a smash hit. Thank you. And, but what we want to know is who were some of the people that were behind the scenes putting this whole thing together? Well, my label, Black Ground, and my company, Atlantic. Um, the label, Black Ground, is headed by my uncle, Barry Hankerson, along with my cousin, Jomo Hankerson. Mm -hmm. Really, my whole family is involved in my whole career. So, my, my whole family, Atlantic, Craig Kalman. And uh, just a lot of support from my family and my friends and my wonderful producers. Good. I want to thank them all. That's good. Great, great. Now, you got a lot of success, a lot of popularity. Everybody knows you and everything. You got two LPs out, doing very well. Now, is it a lot of fun or is it a lot of work involved? It's a lot of hard work. It really is. But I love what I do, so I have a ball doing whatever I'm doing, whether it be interviews, touring, traveling. I enjoy it all. So. Skiing. <laughs> that whole thing. I know, just Skiing in the whole night. Right? Well, well, you know, it was great having you here and everything you, like Jamie. that. We want you to stick around and please do another song for a soul train. Thank Give you. it up for Aaliyah. We got the Philly thing going on. Well, it's Philly, you know, we got our Eagles, Eagles thing going on. Yeah. Proud, we're proud of Philly, man. I'm, well, listen, I'm proud of Philly, too, you know, <laughs> even though I'm not, I'm not from there. Where you, are you from, Don? I'm from Chicago. You're from Chicago? No, I was just in Chicago, man. You know, yeah, Chicago's man, a nice don't, town. Don't do to me what you what you did to our city. No, 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 never, man. <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Never, never. Yeah, man, you know. homeboy, too much respect. Too much respect for you. Homeboy guy. was getting serious with with my man Arsenio, <laughs> but uh, Arsenio handled it. You know, you you were great. Uh, actually, uh, it aired last night. Yeah. Uh, it won't be last night when y'all see this, but uh, he was part of the tribute to Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, Will got into a little stand-up. Yeah, for the yeah, first that was time, that, that was which my, I thought was excellent. Oh, thank you, thank you. That was my. But first. you were nervous. Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, I was very nervous. <laughs> that was that was my first opportunity to try stand-up comedy. So, uh -huh. you know, it was for for Michael Jordan, and uh, it was uh, it was it was a lot of fun, man. It was a lot of stars there, you know. So, I, I got to have the industry check me out for the first time. So I might give it a shot. It's I true. think I'm funny, man. You are, no question. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be uh, that'll be your fourth career. Yeah, yeah, my fourth career. Yeah, your, see, because your third one would be as a movie star. As a movie star, right? I want to be like Quincy Jones, you know, with all the first all the slashes. Bobby, I gotta ask you, uh, what was the pressure like having to come uh, with an album after uh, being involved in such a successful project as your last album, Don't Be Cruel? It was kind of hard. You, when you think about it, um, are you? If you if you think about it, it makes it harder. But um, if you just go ahead and do what you do best, and that's make music, that's what we did, and uh, it came out like it came out, mm -hmm. with the help of Teddy Riley and um, L.A. and Babyface and a few other people. Yeah, they slam. Oh yeah. Um, speaking of music, that's what we came to do. One of my favorite things in the new album is called Get Away, yeah. and that's what I'm gonna do. Welcome to the show. Let me get you guys' names. What's up? I'm Latavia. I'm Beyonce. What's up? I'm Latoya. And I'm Kelly. All right, y'all putting it down. Thank you. So tell, us, tell us about this Wyclef connection. How did he inspire you guys' careers? Well, we got hooked up with Wyclef through the record company. Wyclef is signed to Columbia, and so are we. Mm -hmm. So one day we were walking through the Sony office, and we saw Wyclef. We were like, <laughs> oh, my God, it's Clef. So we met Clef, and we sang for him, and we got an opportunity to sing on his Stayin' Alive remix. And yeah. as a swap, he did No, No, No the remix, and then we hooked it up from there. Just blew it up. Now, who are some of the other people you guys work with putting the LP together? We work with some wonderful producers. Uh, Master P. Dig it. He did the second single with me. It's going to be in stores April 1st. Right. Also, um, Jermaine Dupree. Also, Dwayne Wiggins from Tony, Tony, Tony. And, of course, Wyclef and Prize of the Fugees. Ooh. And a lot of others. Just putting it down yeah. with the team. Yeah. Now, who, now, who are some of the female groups you guys like to listen to when you're just chilling and you feel may have paved the way for your success? Oh. Well, we're basically really in the old school. We basically like, uh, like Supremes, Emotions, yeah. In Vogue. Too in Vogue. Oh, yeah, yeah SWV main, ain't SWV. Like my sister. You know, putting it down with that flavor. Now, you guys want to come back and do another song for us later in the show? Of course. All right. Give it up for Destiny's Child. You do uh, incredible work. Thank you. I must say. You guys agree? I'm sure you do, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, it must be a great feeling to, to have a career uh, blossoming that that is such that you're loved by everybody on all sides regardless of color um 
How does that strike you? It makes me feel great to have been accepted by, you know, a lot of different races and, and have my music cross over because there's so many barriers in life, racially and in every other way, and it felt very exceptionally good for me to have success on the R&B charts as well as the pop charts as well as the adult contemporary, you know, because it's crossing over and getting my music out there to as many people as possible, and that's what it's all about, really. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, your current album is, is one where you stretched out a little more in terms of your, your own personal input than uh, the previous one. Uh, what was that like? It was great for me. I got the chance to produce. I co-produced um, with David Cole and Robert Clavillis of CNC Music Factory, and we had a good time on the up-tempo songs. And um, I co-wrote all those songs with them, and I co-wrote um, four songs with Walter Afanasiev, and he and I produced them together as well, so it was great. You know, I know you've been singing almost all your life, right? Mm -hmm. Did you always write, and, and how difficult was it to develop those kinds of skills like writing and producing? I always knew that I wanted to write and I always felt that I had it you know inside me to write um, but starting out at a really young age people sometimes don't take you seriously and they want to give you material and whatnot but uh, you know I, I kept going and pushing forward and I just uh, I did it and it was it's great to be able to sing what I write. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm, I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm sure you won't have any problem persuading people to let you sing what you write. <laughs>